Ooh, what is up, guys? It is I, Jane Poop here, with a quick video here. So, uh, the topic of today's video is about uh, Sonic and Knuckles on the Wii Virtual Console and how and how it basically works. So, um, so uh, though obviously now, as we all know, uh, you can no longer get these games on the Wii Shop Channel because obviously. Uh, as of uh, January 31st, 2019, the Wii Shop channel closed down and we can no longer make these purchases. So the only ways of getting these is if you've purchased them originally or through piracy. So yeah, that's it. But, uh, so yeah, uh, that's the only way you're going to get these now, uh, games now on the way. But uh, the main topic of today's video is, is the lock-on uh, features for Sonic & Knuckles. So for those who don't know... Sonic & Knuckles originally came with this nifty feature uh, called the lock-on technology in which uh, whenever you put a different Mega Drive or Genesis game on top of Sonic & Knuckles uh, something else will happen. So now with Sonic 1, 2 and 3 uh, these are like the main, main parts of it. So with Sonic 1 you get uh, the no way screen and then press in A, B and C buttons will give you the option to play Blue Sphere, like additional Blue Sphere levels, which are from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And then locking on Sonic 2 will make Knuckles playable in Sonic 2, and locking on Sonic 3 will bring you Sonic 3 and Knuckles, the fully, the full version of Sonic 3 that was meant to be released, but before it was split into two, which would be Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles. And then locking on any other Genesis game that's not Sonic related, uh, even some of the spin-off Sonic games like Sonic Spinball, Sonic 3D Blast, and even Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine would would I would either uh, bring you Blue Sphere again, but either just one level with a purple screen, or it will just boot Sonic and Knuckles as usual. Uh, and it also doesn't matter what region the game is as well, so <laughs> yeah. Now... Uh, as we all know, the, these Sonic games have been re-released multiple times in their past. Uh, uh, so they've been re-released, uh, well, Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles and Sonic 3 and & Knuckles were re-released on PC in 1997 via the Sonic & Knuckles collection uh, with different soundtrack and all that. Uh, so, yeah. So at least that's one way you can get the lock-on game on PC. Uh, then, when these games were released on the Sega Saturn via Sonic Jam, uh, you also had the lock-on features for Sonic and Knuckles. You could play Blue Sphere, Knuckles in Sonic 2, and Sonic 3 and Knuckles. You could play all that. And uh, and I believe um, a couple of compilations, not, not all of them, but some compilations may also have the lock-on features. So, Sonic Mega Collection, uh, although you have to unlock them, uh, you can have the Sonic and Knuckles lock-on games as separate ROMs. You don't even have to go to Sonic and Knuckles and then select a game. Uh, you just unlock them by doing different things. Same with Sonic Mega Collection Plus, the updated version. Uh, so yeah, and then on and then on. I believe the vintage the vintage collection release on 360 and PS3. I think for Sonic and Knuckles, I believe it works similar to Sonic Jam, I believe. I, I don't know exactly, but... Or it, you might have to select Sonic 3, I can't remember, but... One of those, yeah. Now, you might be thinking, how does this work on the Wii? Now, I'm sure not a lot of you are going to do this on Wii Virtual Console anymore, either because you've not got these games before, or you're not into homebrew such, but... Now, the way this works is that... If you have Sonic and Knuckles, just Sonic and Knuckles, nothing special. But if you have, I if you have Sonic One, Sonic Two, or Sonic Three, all of them, or just a few of them, then you can access the lock-on features. You have to have these games installed in order for this to work. Uh, otherwise, nothing will happen. So I'm gonna boot Sonic and Knuckles uh, and see. Um, so I'm gonna boot up Sonic and Knuckles here. So we're in Sonic and Knuckles. Now I'm in the manual for this, uh, which you you press the home button and then um, and then uh, operation manual. You can only do that with um, uh, virtual console games and WiiWare games as well, but you won't have a manual like this. Uh, so now with Sonic and Knuckles, you notice this thing called lock-on system. 
Uh, if I can point my Wii remote correctly. There you go. So, during gameplay, press minus to display the lock-on menu. Uh, then And then it gives you what each of them means. So, no title means enjoy the original standalone Sonic and Knuckles. With Sonic the Hedgehog 1, play new layouts for the special stages from Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Sonic and Knuckles. Uh, and then it gives you instructions on how to do that, because otherwise it's just the no way screen. You can also access new special stages with entering codes. It's basically like a password system. With Sonic 2, you get um, Knuckles in Sonic 2, but you can't play as Sonic and Tails. You'll have to play Sonic 2 normal version in order to play as Sonic and Tails. And then Sonic 3 is the complete scenario. Yeah, that's all we want. And then it says here, save data from Sonic the Hedgehog 3 will not be carried over across when locked onto Sonic and Knuckles. I think that was a feature in the original. So say you finish Sonic 3 originally when it came out in 1994, and then you wait months later, uh, back in February, and then you wait months later to, to October for Sonic and Knuckles to come out, and then you lock on Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Uh, so, so meaning... You go through, so you finish all the zones, you finish up to launch base zone in the original Sonic 3. Then in Sonic and from 3 and Knuckles, when you lock that on, I believe you can just start Mushroom Hill Zone uh, on the save file. I think that's how it works. I, I can't remember exactly, but... Yeah, well, if you're Sonic and t Sonic Tails, or just Sonic or just Tails, of course, because you can't play as Knuckles in Sonic, normal Sonic 3, but yeah. Yeah, and it also says it's only compatible with Sonic 1, 2, and 3. No other game will react to the lock-on system. This even includes the Sonic games on other platforms. So yeah, even the Master System Sonic games that came out on Wii Virtual Console, those being Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and Sonic Chaos, even those won't work, because they're obviously Master System games. And even the other Genesis and Mega Drive Sonic games won't work either. So Spinball, 3D Blast, and even Mean Bean Machine won't do the job at all. So yeah. Uh, once you choose a game, the game will automatically reset. Uh, and I believe if you close the software, I think it automatically loads the lock-on. So if we loaded Sonic 3 and Knuckles, for instance, we can... Um, uh, it will load that instantly when we load Sonic and Knuckles. So I'm going to close the manual. I also had to enable interlacing mode because I, I would have it, it, video problems otherwise. So this is Sonic and Knuckles, the original Sonic and Knuckles here. Uh, just the standalone Sonic and Knuckles. And I can play this as normal, right? Well, at any point in the game, it doesn't matter if you're on a title screen or not, you can pretty much um, go to the lock-on menu anytime. So, I'm going to do that uh, now. Um, so, when we're here, press the minus button and then this happens. We get this screen right here. So, choose a game to lock on to. So, we can either choose none, which is Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Uh, and then to cancel it, you just press the 1 button. Well, on the Wii Remote. I think it's different with the Classic Controller, but... I've not got my Classic Controller with me, so I'm just using the Wii Remote for this. So, yes. And yes, this is the European version, by the way. Uh, they, uh, by the way, the games have to be the same region in order for it to work. So you can't have, like, say, European Sonic and Knuckles with Japanese Sonic 3. It won't work like that. It has to be the same region, because it checks the ID, basically. Uh, why not? I'll do the code. Why not? So, yeah, that's that. So, also, by the way, uh, the Sonic 3 songs unplayable in normal Sonic and Knuckles. It just blows blank. Anyways, let's um, uh, let's uh, go to the lock-on menu. So... <coughs> oh god! So, so, uh, let's start with Sonic the Hedgehog. And then, uh, to change lock-on setting, you'll need to reset your game. Are you sure? Yes. And there we go! Uh, so we get this when we have Sonic 1. You might think, oh, we can't play this. This is this is absolutely bull. Well, uh, A, B, and C, or on the Wii Remote, it's A, 1, and 2. You get blue spheres! Uh, and then the password system, which don't work. Well, well, it does, but I mean, we've not got a password. So, 
And then you can just play some Blue Sphere stages. Uh, basically, yeah. Uh, very handy, uh, exclusive Blue Sphere games right here. Uh, so yeah, all that. I'm not gonna bother doing all that. You can only play a Sonic and Knuckles, obviously. There are hacks where Tails is playable, and all that. But now, let's check out Sonic 2. And do that. It just looks like normal Sonic 2, right? Nope. Because Knuckles is here! And I believe the level select code is up, 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 down, 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 left, right, left, right. And then, that's the level select code. So, yeah. So you got that. This is what Knuckles looks like in the special stages. Yep. Yeah. I know. It doesn't even have Knucks at the top there. But now... Let's go with Sonic 3. This is what you've all been, you'll all want if you play this on Virtual Console. Is the normal Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So yeah. That is really cool. And uh, yeah, you can pick your save file and all that. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna pick Knuckles, why not? And yeah. So that's, um, that is pretty much how the lock-on feature works in Sonic and Knuckles on Wii Virtual Console, um, for those who are interested. So, so, some of you are thinking, oh, I, I, I need to inject a ROM in order to play this. Nope, you don't need to do that if, if you have, if you're going through the homebrew route. Nope, you can just have normal Sonic and Knuckles official WAD file. And then just go through the menu and then boom. And now the song's like because it's free and knuckles. So yeah. Uh so basically Uh now, um Uh So And then you go back and then you can go back to Sonic and Knuckles by doing that. And we're back to Sonic and Knuckles. So, um, now, the interesting part is, is that if you inject a ROM with uh, an inject tool, and you inject it into the Sonic & Knuckles WAD file, and then load that, you can still access the lock-on menu. You can still access this lock-on menu, but choosing these will load the same game you injected, as if nothing was attached. So if we, if we were to put something like Sonic 3 Complete on this, WAD file on Sonic and Knuckles, uh, and then locked onto Sonic 3, it will just load Sonic 3 complete still. Uh, so if we, uh, so basically any ROM file we inject into this would just uh, act if the lock-on feature doesn't work, but you can still access the lock-on menu, which I found very hilarious. And by the way, the save data for Sonic 3 and Knuckles, by the way, uh, is not in the Sonic 3 save file. The Sonic 3 save file is separate. Uh, so if you want, uh, so I, I'm just gonna, because I created a save file for that, I'm gonna prove it. Because uh, I've not made a save file for Sonic 3 yet, so I'm gonna prove that. I'm gonna try the level select code as well. Oh, I couldn't do it in Alright. You can see. No save data. Uh, oh, oh, and then again, it's because I was Knuckles, but still. You get the idea. And all that. But, yeah. Okay, can I do this? Oh, no. Okay. But, yeah, that is pretty much how this works, then. So... If you so, if you wanted to play the lock-on games in Sonic in Sonic with Sonic and Knuckles on the Wii Virtual Console, you can. You you just have to have the other Sonic WAD files installed, and then you can do it. It's simple as that. 
So, yeah, I think uh, that is it for today's video then, guys. So, uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. If you do appreciate it, just like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to do all that. And I shall see you guys next time. It's is IJ and Pip out. See you guys next time. Bye!